Hello, students. Today we are talking about stained glass. Stained glass has been around since at least the Romans, but it really became popular um, during the Gothic art era. It was used many times for just coification, uh, making things beautiful, or um, also it was um, put in as um, symbols, as um, also religious artwork through um, churches. Um, and uh, different types of religions. So today, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up on your printer and you're going to find um, on the computer something that you can uh, copy off um, and just look up any kind of stained glass uh, that you can copy um, that you want in black and white. So here I've got just two examples that I have as one. Is this orca and then this one which is a um, stained glass uh, rose window so this is the one i'm going to work on to, with you today so um first what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to put it down on your table and you're going to get some tape and you're going to tape it on there that doesn't move Now this is vellum. Now vellum is actually used by drafters. And the whole idea is that um, and it's you want clear uh, vellum or um, something that you can see through. And you, you're going to put it right on top here. Uh, vellum was, is used by drafters so that they can do many pages and they can flip up the pages and, and see just certain parts of what they've drawn. Um, if you don't have vellum, then any type of clear plastic board, just to make sure that it's thick, right? You don't want like plastic wrap or something. You want to make sure it's like a, a, like a piece of paper, but clear. Okay, so you could even just put that on there. So anything like this. Okay, so once you get that on there, so it's not going to move, then what you're going to do is you're going to take a black marker. Now you'll want to start in the middle and then you're going to proceed outwards. The whole reason is because if I started out here and then I um, start, went to the, towards the middle, I'm gonna end up having something on my hand, right? I'm gonna smear it. So I wanna make sure that um, I start in the middle. Okay, so once I have that on here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on top and I'm going to tape this down again so it doesn't move. Okay, so now I'm going to do what I said and I'm going to take my black marker. After I do my black marker, then um, you want to make sure when on these that they are um, permanent markers. So um, I'm going to use the black marker first and then I'm going to use colored uh, markers course permanent when I use it. Make sure your, your caretaker is okay with everything that you use. Okay, so I'm going to first start by, again, making sure I'm in the middle first and walking on the outside. I'm just going to copy it. Now remember that this cannot be erased, so if you make a mistake, you kind of have to just go with it and, and decide maybe just to color it in or something like that if you make a mistake. So I'm just going to continue on as I trace the black. Okay, class. So right now I have gotten all the black with my black permanent marker on the vellum or the clear um, plastic. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my other permanent markers that are more colorful and I'm going to choose those and I'm going to decorate up this, um, this stained glass at the rose window with certain colors that I choose. Again, I want to start working from the middle out so I don't get it on my hand.
When you are doing this, make sure that you fill it all in because if there's any white that's showing from the paper, then that's going to show through clear and it's, it's not going to be as pretty. So make sure you color in every part of it so you don't see any white. If you do want white, then if you can find a white marker, then that would be great. Okay, so I have done the middle part of that um, that rose window. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like on the window. Okay, so here it is. This is a stained glass that we did with that I showed you how to do with uh, vellum or thick. Uh, clear um, and, um, plastic, very thick, and here is the um, stained glass on it. When the light th shows through, it looks like just like stained glass. Now, I didn't do this outer part because I'm going to show you another idea that I have that you could do. So I'm going to take this down and show you. Okay, next, this is uh, something I'm going to try. I've done the uh, permanent markers on the vellum before, but this time I want to try this. So um, this is something, uh, an idea I had. So as, do you see it's puffy um, paint? So I have black here and I have red. So I'm going to use the black to outline, um, the, outline the black this time, just around the edges where I had um, hadn't colored it in with marker yet. So I'm going to use the black around those edges and I'm going to fill it in with red puffy paint and we're going to see what it looks like and if it looks good or not. Two hours later. Two hours later. Okay, so now the black is dry, as you can see on that. So now I'm going to take the red puffy paint and I'm going to put it um, in the um, spaces in between. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let the red dry now. Okay, students, it is now dry, so I have hung it. So in here is the uh, permanent markers, and on the outside was the puffy paint. So you can see that, and it um, looks really cool. And either way, and how the sun comes through, it kind of looks just like stained glass. So have fun. Um, go create. Send me pictures. Love to see pictures, and we'll see you next time.